Are you supposed to script these things? And I just thought I'd take a few minutes to uh, kind of share. Today's a special day. Today is May 2nd, and there's nothing real particularly special about May 2nd. I mean, you know, there's a couple of days coming up that are very significant. May the 4th is Star Wars Day. Uh, May the 5th is uh, the, the, uh, the Festival of Mayonnaise or something like that. For those of you who don't know, may the 4th be with you, may the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. I'm being silly, I know, I'm so weird. Anyway, <clears throat> today, not that it's on this same day every year, I'm, at least I don't think it is. I believe it's the first Thursday of May every year is what it is. But today marks the National Day of Prayer. And I think today is a very significant day for believers to come out and pray together. Now, I think it's significant because it marks a little bit of what should always be happening in the church. A lot of times, I think what happens in America, maybe in other, other nations, and I've been to others, but not enough that I could say for sure. But a lot of times what happens here, as believers, we get kind of tied up in our own little family, our own little world, um, and then our own little church or whatever. And we often miss the bigger picture. And I think the bigger picture is that when God created everything, he created everything. And he created it all to be in relation with each other. And of course, I'm not gonna sit and belabor all of this. Um, but the long story short is, you know, from, from, from Genesis till now is you see a story in scripture of God creating mankind, creating ultimately, you know, number of ethnicities from one uh, people. And ultimately then you know, his story, the obvious story of redemption uh, through the work of the cross. Everything in the Old Testament points to the cross. Everything in the New Testament points back to the cross. And, you know, then you see, you see a guy like the Apostle Paul. And Paul talks about, uh, you know, becoming Jew and Gentile, becoming one new man from the two because of Christ. And so the, the, the huge thing of the, that, that's so significant about this day is it's that vision of the church coming together to be one new man. Today should be a starting point for unity amongst the church ethnically. You know, one of the bad things in, in you know, when you think about this time, this day and age, is America is really divided. It really breaks my heart how divided America is. And the church needs to be the leader in, in breaking that cycle. And today is a perfect day to start that. Today is that day where we all can come together. Now, I live in the city of Warren, and in the city of Warren, where I live, they do it right at the city hall they have a national day of prayer and of course this year it's going to be a little cooler because starting at, at 11 30 a.m they're actually going to have a joint worship service um before leading into the national day of prayer so i'm pretty excited about it um you know in like i said this is the chance where the church can start to understand what it means to become one new man made from multiple ethnicities, walks in life, etc., etc. So to me, it's a very exciting day. Um, I encourage everybody, if you didn't part participate in this year's National Day of Prayer, I encourage you to participate in National Day of Prayer. I encourage you not to just pray with your own church um, or your own family, but I encourage you to go specifically and pray with other believers intentionally. All thought, just off the top of my head, thoughts type day. Um, so anyway, today, 
National Day of Prayer is a day where we get an understanding of what the church should be. And I encourage you to go. If you didn't go to this year's, I encourage you to go to next year's. And here's how I encourage you to do it. Because Paul the Apostle talked about becoming one new man, and you see the letters in, in, you know that Paul wrote to different churches. They were written to entire city churches. Meaning, you know, not to um, Bob's Backyard Church, but to the church in city, whatever city, Rome, Galatia, whatever. When you see that, you know, there, there's a large number of believers coming together. So I encourage you on a day like today to go to National Day of Prayer and, and do it this way. Pray intentionally, but not just with your family, not just with people in your church. I actually encourage you today to purposely go to the opposite side of where you're comfortable and pray with a group of people, of believers from another church. I encourage you to do that and start to get a sense for becoming one new man in Christ. That's what I intend to do today. I'll give you some footage of what it looks like at, at our Warren National Day of Prayer when it starts. So, walking into the National Day of Prayer, I hear worship music starting. We are here, the uh, City Hall building in Warren, where I live. And I'm looking forward to going in and worshiping with all the saints of the city. So National Day of Prayer was awesome. Um, got to run into, ran into some of my old friends there and the people that I've ministered through the city with a number of times over the years. Um, 
all in all, it was a really good event. Very glad I went. There were, as you can see by the some of the video, I didn't get um, too much video because unfortunately the battery died. Uh, but as you could see, there were a few people there. Um, there was um, <clears throat> a good representation of multiculturalism too, which to me is a very important issue, but um, it was awesome. It was awesome partly because of that. It was awesome partly because it was National Day of Prayer. It was awesome because, you know, for all of her faults, the city of Warren, uh, one thing that they do is they, they believe very strongly that the church community and the work that they do is something of value. And, you know, for those who don't know or think that, you know, church is um, whatever, I'm not going to get too negative, but those who don't really know, you know, outside of doing a lot of praying and things that people may or may not understand, we do a lot of community work. What do you do after you've worked a, a, a full day, you on your lunch hour, got to go to National Day of Prayer, and you are a fat guy? Well, you do what you love. And in my case, besides, uh, besides barbecuing and eating, um, I love to ride bikes. Like I mentioned, it's a great day in, in the city today. Uh, it's the beginning of May, so the Detroit area, the weather in Michigan still doesn't know what it wants to do. Um, it's been too wet to cut the grass, but there are a few mountain bike trails that are higher and um, dry out quickly enough. So I think that the best thing to do is take an hour and go do that before I do the next thing I'm going to do today. Um, which will most likely be getting, getting together with some young people and praying with them. So that's what I'm kind of up to right now. I'm going to actually try and get my first GoPro footage of uh, on the bike, probably helmet cam, although I do have a chest thing. Um, but I think I'll start with helmet cam footage just to learn today, get a feel for what it's like to actually video some rides.